So, I was just seeing this uh, Before the Flood movie, the documentary with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, it's a really good one, you know. Very important cause, probably the most important cause of our time. But there's something really disturbing about all this. There is a group of people called MOVE, the MOVE organization, which actually is a family of people. They live together as a family, they do everything as a family. And they've been around uh, for quite some time. They've been around since the 70s, uh, late 60s, early 70s, if I'm not mistaken, in Philadelphia, West Philadelphia. The MOVE organization was founded by a black man called John Africa. He was extremely intelligent, had a lot of wisdom, was very sensitive and uh, had a lot of care and concern for our planet, for life in general. Not just not just human life, animal life, plant everything, everything. Even the earth, even the water, even the air that we have to breathe, everything. So John Africa's message was there is nothing more important than life itself. Life is the priority. It's not a priority, it's the priority which today most people are forgetting but with documentaries like this people are remembering you know oh yeah there's nothing more important than life but usually people always forget these things and they're you know caught up with money and caught up with status and caught up with possessions that they forget their own I mean they, they forget life we're not it's, it, it's not life in an abstract sense it's not life, you know, living life, going to the partying all night, you know. It's just the energy, the life energy that's pulsating within every everything and everyone. There is nothing more important than that. What disturbs me about all this is that MOVE, when MOVE, um, were starting they were very active uh, they demonstrated in zoos against you know the imprisonment of animals for no reason you know innocent animals taken away from the from the wild from their families from their mates locked up in zoos just so that people can come and see them pay and see them Uh, they demonstrated against uh, uh, um, shelters for old people, for the, you know, for the elderly, where they've been abused and mistreated and abandoned. Nobody comes to see them. Move has also demonstrated against uh, domestic abuse, you know, uh, child abuse. You know, the abuse against uh, uh, animals in general, the abuse against the environment, you know, against DuPont chemicals, against all these big industries that pollute the water for money, that pollute the earth for money, that pollute the air for money. At that time, at that time, the idea of having bottled water was crazy. It's hard to it's hard to believe now because we're so used to bottled water. But at that time it was so crazy to imagine <laughs> to imagine people with bo with w bottles of water 
going around drinking bottles of water. Everybody, like, no one thought about that because every, th every, every tap water was clean. Tap water was clean. Water was, water was everywhere, you know, like, it was, it was, you could not imagine buying water to drink. That's how good it was. To that extent. And, and, um, John Africa was telling people, don't be surprised. Uh, pretty soon people are going to start buying bottled water. Every, nobody believed him. They were all like, what? What are you talking about? This is crazy. They're like, no, it's true. You'll see. If this, if this bullshit continues, you'll see. We're going to start buying water in bottles. And then that's what started to happen. Uh, what I'm what I'm trying to say is move has been committed to defending life to defending to uh, fighting for nature telling people educating people on the importance of preserving life preserving nature preserving the clean water that nature gives us the clean air that nature gives us the clean earth the fertile earth which should not be polluted and poisoned so that our food can come from there and it's healthy and we eat it and we get healthy too move has been doing this ever since the early 70s move has been already doing this okay and today when I ask most Americans I know or, or 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 even Americans I don't know they don't know about move I even asked people from Philadelphia they didn't know about move and I'm from Morocco Northwest Africa and I was just lucky I just I just uh, came across move I, I I didn't know anything about move back in 2004 that's when I first knew about move I contacted Ramona Africa 2005 I've been in touch with her ever since I love that sister she's amazing and she helped me out a lot with information and and you know we stuck close together we we you know uh, I mean I never met her face to face you know because I live so far away but we've been in touch constantly me and her you know uh, doing what we can together to spread the message to you know um, let people know about move you know so it really disturbs me that uh, no one knows about move and not only that no not only no one knows about move or very few people know about move even in the states but move has been victim of police brutality since the mid 70s or something and all of all that because because they just put out information on stopping you know telling people to stop polluting the water telling the big industries to stop polluting the water stop polluting the earth stop polluting the air just defending life basically the cops came to where move were demonstrating and then and and they told move to to get out of here to stop to shut up he cannot demonstrate and move were like isn't this america where you tell everyone about free speech freedom of speech freedom of of you know of of religion our religion is life we're defending life life is everywhere everyone shares this life but the cops had their orders they started beating on move they started beating the move men bloody they started beating the move women into miscarriage the pregnant move women into miscarriage and nobody knows about this shit nobody very few people do now people from around the world start are starting to know about move I'm the only Moroccan who is who's in touch with Move ever since 2005, and I've had more projects to do 
with move, but I, you know, I was just getting caught up with, you know, uh, stuff in my life and, you know, studies and all that, you know, I mean, but, but it's, I never, I mean, this, this, this is very important stuff. I mean, uh, I live these things too. I actually follow Move's way of life. And it has helped me immensely to be healthier, to be happier, to be stronger, to be more confident, okay, to be smarter, to be wiser, and, you know, just to be more natural. And, I mean, it's seen in our example move people are the living example of what they preach they're not some they're I mean they're very unique they're not like just sitting here and preaching all these things and doing something else they're even if they didn't preach their voice would be loud because you can see it in their way of life you can see it in their actions in everything they do So the cops and the government and the mayor of Philadelphia at that time, Frank Rizzo, came down on Move. Just they they were trying to kill Move. Don't take my word for it. There's three documentaries about Move, which you can see with your own eyes. Footage taken by, um, you know, uh, uh, um, independent media. You can see that. You can see how the cops are beating them up. I've spoken to a lot of a lot a lot of these move brothers and sisters. The ones who are in prison, you know, the move nine. They've been locked up since 1978. They're, they're still in prison. Mumia Abu Jamal locked up 1981, 1982, something. 1981, I think. So. Ah, uh, I mean. Move, I mean, what I'm saying is Move has been yelling and saying these things to people. They've been just demonstrating these things. They, you know, they've been demonstrating against these things. And, and cops come and abuse them and beat them and kill them. Killed their babies. Burnt their house. Bombed their house in 1985. You can, you can check all this stuff up, uh, on the internet. It's all there. You can, you know... Uh, it's 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 crazy, and nobody talks about them. Nobody mentions Move. Move actually were the first first people to actually do this. They were the first people. They were the first group of people of revolutionaries in the United States to stand up against all these things, the abuse of life in general, without any distinction without any division they were the first group and no one talks about them the media doesn't talk about them even up to now move are still doing their work now well since they've been being killed by cops and imprisoned unjustly by cops and uh, 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 you know accused unjustly by cops they've been you know shifting their uh, attention towards freeing our brothers and sisters. Okay, they they haven't been doing a lot of the work that they've been doing in the beginning. You know, which is defending life, defending the environment and and nature and all of life. Because now they, you know, we got to bring our brothers and sisters home. But move started out by defending life, defending nature. Showing people how to live naturally. Showing people how to eat a raw food diet. Most move members are raw foodists. They exercise every day. They're extremely strong. Physically. And mentally. Mentally. I mean, they're amazing. I, I love move people. And, and yet, no one talks about them. No one mentions them. No one, uh, you know... They don't, their voice is not heard. And, and they've been saying these things way before Leonardo DiCaprio came and started saying these things. You know, I mean, when Leonardo DiCaprio comes, which is good, he, he's doing a good thing. Okay, I'm not hating on him. But 
because he's famous and because he's this and that and okay now everybody's starting to pay attention but what about move move have just as much credit should take as much credit or even more credit far more credit what am I what am I talking about far more credit than Leonardo DiCaprio I respect Leonardo DiCaprio I even worked with him I was I was there on the scene of, of, of Body of Lies you know 2007 because they were filming part of that movie in Morocco I was there I saw him well of course he didn't know who I was you know <laughs> he, you know I'm uh, I'm nobody I'm not an actor I'm not you know I'm just an ordinary guy but I saw him, he was right next to me, he was like, he was all mad and stuff, <laughs> his phone got lost, I think some Moroccan stole his phone, <laughs> with all his pictures, he was going to sell it for millions of dollars or something, <laughs> but anyways, I mean, it just, it just, it's, it's frustrating, you know, uh, this, this wonderful, beautiful group of people, of a family, like, three generations now of move people exist, like the move nine who have been imprisoned in in 1978 you know who are part of the first move members they're grand grandparents now they have grandchildren okay i mean this is a big movement a lot of americans are adopting the move way of life but no one talks about them in the media at least in the media no one talks about them i mean even there three documentaries already about what happened to move what they stand for they haven't been shown uh, nationwide internationally except for move supporters like myself in Germany and in Spain and France and all that uh, other countries they've been showing these documentaries to people making people know about the existence of move but nothing has been done in a major sense to show people who move are what move are that these people exist and they stand for this they stand for the protection of life and and you know telling them about John Africa about what he standed for about what he's all about all these things you don't hear this you don't hear this and it's frustrating and then and then and then all of a sudden because someone is so famous and he's you know uh, an actor and all that he comes up and he makes a documentary about this, which is a good thing. I'm, I'm repeating. I'm not hating or anything, but you see what I'm saying? It's just what I'm saying is these people are not really interested in doing something about changing the problem that you know that we're all facing: the shortage of water, the pollution, the global warming, all this, all this stuff. They are not interested because if they were interested. They would have listened when MOVE were talking since the 70s, since the early 70s. And not only that, <clears throat> they would have at least, at least given credit to MOVE, at least just to put MOVE out there and be like, hey, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, we have this problem. Oh, by the way, we had this group called MOVE a long time ago and, and here they are. MOVE, come out, you know, uh, come out over here. Let people know who you are. These MOVE people have been have standed for all this way before it, it, it actually started happening they're not doing that part of the reason is because the government the United States government has bombed move moves home in 1985 they bombed they bombed them move people were just chilling in, the, in their house they were just they were just in their house and then the cops came with the with the firefighters uh, and uh, you know they, they you know that was the second major attack on move on move's house that was the second one the first one was in 1978 when they when they you know when they locked up the move nine so they started you know shooting thousands and thousands of ammunition rounds bullets tear gas thousands of gallons of water when there was no fire and then drop C4 on them by a helicopter igniting the whole house when move was hiding in the basement burning 61 or 60 something houses in that neighborhood a predominantly black neighborhood and when the fire was going on though the firefighters did not 
do shit to put the fire out. They had all the water, you know. But when there was no fire, they were they were they were shooting all those gallons of water inside Move's house. And then when there was a fire, they just let it burn. They the 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 uh, someone the police commissioner or someone said, "Let the fire burn." That's the the title of the third documentary about Move. The first the 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 first two documentaries. Uh, the first one is Move Confrontation in Philadelphia. The second one is uh, I can't remember what the second one was called, but but there are three documentaries. You can find them just on YouTube. I mean. At least the first two. You can find the first two on YouTube. So this is what really angers me. Because these people were genuinely, genuinely defending life and nature. And fighting against all these big corporations. Corp, you know? And they just shut them down. And MOVE still exists today. Ramona... The sister who I've been talking to since 2005, she's the only adult survivor of May 13th, 1985 bombing of MOVE headquarters. When MOVE started, we're, we're trying to get out of the house, they were telling cops, hey, we're coming out, don't shoot. As soon as they came out of the fire, the police started shooting, forcing MOVE people inside the house again. And, and, and then, you know... They were either going to be shot to death or burned to death. Only Ramona survived, who's the adult, and a, a child, 13-year-old child by the name of Birdie Africa at that time. They, they're the only survivors. And no one talks about these things. And these people dedicated their life. They, these people died. To show people how corrupt these people are, these government officials are, these politicians are, who don't give a fuck about about fixing anything in the world. All they care about is money and power. Money and power. They don't give a fuck about life. They don't give a fuck about about being healthy. They don't give a fuck about you know saving the environment, saving the planet. They don't give a fuck about all that. They don't. They don't care. They don't care at all. Okay? But now because a celebrity is talking about this, all of a sudden it's just a such a big issue. Man, get the fuck out of here. Come on. I mean, this is this this is this is bullshit, really. Move has got to take credit for what we've been doing, okay? Move has got to take credit. The world has to know who John Africa is. The world has to know what John Africa stood for. John Africa did some of some of the things which no person has ever achieved in the United States in the whole history of the United States okay John Africa was amazing I mean the things he accomplished and he was illiterate he was illiterate okay he was just like uh, he was just natural he <laughs> he didn't care about reading or writing but the wisdom that came out of this man's being I mean it's incredible and all that because because of the because because he's been so in tune with nature and he has influenced and inspired people to do so much great things with their lives and with lives of other people and I'm one of those okay I'm like the move ambassador in Morocco even though I you know haven't I haven't been doing any any major thing about move here but you know at least not yet I haven't you know organized anything yet like that uh, but I hold that way of life and people can see it people here you know people who know me who don't know me they can see it in me they can see how I changed with the years they can see they can see what I'm about and it and they, and they can't help it it just touches them you know it's very inspiring and so you know so i'm just i'm just i'm just calling out to this bullshit this video i mean this 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 good documentary that leonardo dicaprio did but unfortunately it it takes it has to take a celebrity to come and say these things which other people have been saying for 30 40 years 
ago and 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 the media didn't even publicize that they're doing everything to shut them down because they know that they cannot justify bombing an innocent people in the United States their own people their own citizens they bombed them they burned them alive they killed their babies and they cannot justify it they cannot justify it and they know that Mu people are innocent that's why they're not talking about them because if they start talking about Mu they're gonna have to justify what they did to move and they cannot do that they don't have the guts to do that but I dare you to do that I dare you if you got the guts I dare you to do that all right take responsibility for your shit for what you've done to my family the move people all right the time is now stop 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 fucking around stop bullshitting okay move people have been have been defending this shit a long time ago and people who know move know this you can't keep hiding the truth forever on a move long live john africa